From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dia Riley. Shea will have a look at your forecast coming up. But first, I want to get your ABC Action News headlines. People had to evacuate from four condos after a fire at a complex in Hillsborough County this morning. That fire damaged two of the condos, so those people now have to stay elsewhere. Firefighters let residents back into the other two condos. The fire started just before 7 this morning at the complex just off Dale Mabry Highway south of Bush Boulevard. Nobody was hurt, and firefighters are now working to figure out what started the fire. Police in Northport tweeted that a vehicle hit a student near Northport High School this morning. The student was taken to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. It happened on Price Boulevard. USF just announced that it received a $5 million gift from Lightning owner Jeff Vinnick and his wife Penny to pay for an on-campus football stadium. The university selected the Sycamore Field site on the east side of the Tampa campus to build the stadium. It's set to be finished in 2026 or 2027. It's projected to cost more than $200 million. Google Maps is adding more detail to help you get where you're going. One update will show drivers toll prices along their route, and maps are being improved with the addition of traffic lights and stop signs. Tampa was just ranked eighth on Lending Tree's national list of the most pet-obsessed cities. Cincinnati took the top spot. The rankings were determined by the number of pet stores. This analysis also found that women spend more on pets than men, and boomers spend more than other generations. American households spend an average of $690 a year on pets. I'll check in now with Shay Ryan to see if it's a good day to get out and maybe take the dog out for a run. It is absolutely looking like a great day. In fact, we are looking at temps that are going to be topping out in the upper 80s to about 90 degrees with very little chance for any rainfall. So again, as long as you're ready to embrace the warmth and the humidity today, I think we are looking at a fantastic forecast. It's tomorrow that's going to be a little difficult to get outside and get things done. Uh, rain wise, we've got some good coverage, especially in the first half of the day. It won't really start tapering off tomorrow until after sunset. But again, it's the heat and humidity today that I think everyone's going to notice. You can now get news 24 hours a day on ABC Action News Plus. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Apple TV.